Hello, everybody, and welcome again to Faith on Friday. How many of you have an idea that you know needs to be shared? A life-changing idea, a company-changing idea, an idea that can improve your community or family. But for some reason, you've never shared it. Not for reasons of rejection or fear of failure or even embarrassment by it. But you haven't shared that idea because you don't want to hear other people say, if I were you, I would fill in the blank. A lot of people feel that it is their solemn duty to tell you what it is they would do in a situation that they've never been in, about something they've never tried, and experiences they've never had. And it starts with, if I were you, I would. Well, I want to free you up from that right now because your idea needs to be shared. No one can know for you. That's right. No one can know for you. They don't know where you're going, what it is you need to be doing, where you need to go next, or to whom you need to speak. No one can know for you. Early on in my marriage, I had some problems because I had no idea how to be a wife. So I listened to other people who believed they had the answer for me. Their conversation sounded like this. Ricky, if I were you, I would this. Ricky, if I were you, I would never that. And it wasn't so much that I listened to them. The problems began when I started trying to do what they suggested. I learned right then. No one can know for me. No one knows what your life experiences have been, regardless of what you tell them or not. It's different hearing it than it is living it. So the next time you have a life-changing idea or you just need to share something and you don't want to for whatever reason, don't you worry about those people who tell you, if it were me, I would. Because now you know, no one can know for you. So share the idea and take the advice with a grain of salt. Thank you everybody for watching and thank you so much for sharing the video. My name is Ricky Smith and I'll see you next Friday.